table, but I think uh, if I put this table, uh, it will be easier. So let me put uh, this. Uh, that will be better, right? Okay. So what I'll do, I'll write the difference between these two. Because I believe this will be good for many of you. Okay. So I'm now sharing my screen and let's see what's the difference between these two. When you talk about introiter and when you talk about leadoiter. Okay. Just to tell you, you know, ask you, like, uh, what do you think? Like, which one has... Uh, a little bigger respect, but which one is do you think like will have more demand? Is it like more demand in the market, like more respect in the market? <laughs> what do you think? Like, what do you think? If uh, which one will have more demand and more respect, please write in the chat. See, I'll tell you, of course, there's a, there's a more demand for internal return. <laughs> there's more demand for internal return, no doubt about this. But if you have, if somebody is a lead auditor, then of course, like, uh, you know, at the places where lead auditor is a desired or preferred qualification, then it becomes definitely a kind of essential. Yes, there's a more demand for, I think, Bharat's body of return is absolutely. Yes. So what is happening? I'll tell you. Uh, until now, until now, the internal auditor were more in demand until now. Like the internal auditor were more in demand. There is no doubt about this. The internal auditor were more in demand. Okay. But what is happening? What is happening now that uh, because now what is happening? There is too much competition, right? There is too much of uh, too many people, those who are now internal auditor. So what is happening slowly, the demand is getting shifted from internal auditor to lead auditor. Okay. So this shift has started happening, but this is very slow. Okay? I'm, I'm not here to, you know, tell you that, okay, oh, lead auditor is very, is high in demand so that you buy the course and get my lead auditor course. No. So, you know, I don't have any, because I know that uh, every time we have household batch, we have, you know, 100% uh, sold out events. But I'm just telling you fact, there's no doubt that internal auditor are more in demand, right? But slowly, there are many companies, those who, you know, desire that people should have lead auditor qualification and this demand is, you know, slowly shifting. So my point is, at this point, those who are internal auditor, if they are looking to compete, if they are looking to go for next level, then definitely the internal auditor will be a better qualification, okay? Now let's see the difference because so many of you might not be aware, some of you might be aware. Okay. So let's see the difference between these two. So internal auditor, as the name suggests, can do audit within the organization. They do audit within the organization. Okay. As the name suggests, lead auditor other people, they can do audit outside the organization. They can do audit outside the organization. These are called like first party auditor and these, if work in the certification body, then only it is called third party auditor. If, if work in the certification body, then they are called third party auditor. That is scope, like they do audit within the organization, they can do audit, uh, do audit outside the organization. But of course, if you do audit outside the organization, you can definitely do with the help of a, a certification body, then you are called third party auditor. Third difference, intro auditor, have you know good knowledge, good knowledge of standard requirements. But lead auditor, not only they have good knowledge, they have very good knowledge, or you can say a good knowledge of auditing. When I say auditing, that means non-conformity, like how to write in you know, better non-conformities, how to get into depth. So they have very good knowledge of auditing. It may be expected that an uh, intro auditor would have good knowledge of uh, standard requirements. But when it comes to auditing or finding non-conformities or improvements, it is considered like they are able to add more value. 
Why? Because in the lead order that uh, there are a lot many case studies and activities which are involved. Okay. The duration of the training program, if you look at, is from like two days. Okay. It's somewhere around like 16 hours minimum. It can go up to like uh, in some organizations, there are some agencies like they can definitely go for two to three days. So approximate like uh, 16 to like 24 hours. But here, the duration of the training program is as mandated by the, you know, uh, the IRFA or the other uh, agencies. It's five days, and you need to have undergo minimum forty hours of training. So, of course, like what happened? The uh, syllabus coverage, right? The syllabus coverage also vary a lot. You also understand that something like when you are understanding in sixteen hours something you are understanding in the 40 hours, so definitely it's twice as much as hours you are putting in getting this qualification or understanding you know, about this uh, lead order team. So what happened in this lead order training program that there is more and more focus on the case study. There's more and more focus on the, you know, at the same time, how to evaluate the system and case studies and how to write better non-conformities. And there are so many situations, okay? So the internal auditor will be focused more on the, within the organization and they are more like, they have good knowledge. It is considered, may not be necessarily true because I, in this, I know there's so many uh, internal auditor, they are not, you know, they just have qualified the examination, but they are not good in auditing. They have the standard basic knowledge, but at the same time, the auditor will have basic knowledge of standard, but at the same time, they will have knowledge of it is expected that they will have knowledge of implementation as well. Okay, so that's the like a basic difference between these two when it comes to internal auditor and lead auditor competence. Of course, like if you look 